Good morning. The hymn this morning is number 387. 387. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Lord, open our lips. And we shall praise your name. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us adore the Lord, for, for it is he who made us. us. Come, ring out our joy to the Lord. Hail the gods that saves us. Let us come before him, giving thanks. With songs let us hail the Lord. Let, Let us, us adore, adore the, Lord, the Lord, for it is, it is he who made us. The mighty God is the Lord, a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his. To him belongs the sea, for he made it, and the dry land shaped by his hands. Let, let us adore, adore the Lord, Lord for it is he who made, who made us. us. Come in, let us bow and bend low. Let us kneel before the God who made us. For he is our God. And we, the people who belong to his pasture, the flock that is led by his hand. Let us, Let us adore, adore the Lord, for it is he who made us. Oh, that today you would listen to his voice. Harden not your hearts as at Meribah, as on that day at Massa in the desert, when your fathers put me to the test, when they tried me, though they saw my work. Let, Let us adore, adore the Lord, Lord for it is he who made us. us. For forty years I was weary of these people, and I said, their hearts are astray. These people do not know my ways. And I took an oath in my anger. Ever shall they enter my rest. Let us adore, adore the Lord, for it is he who made, made us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be. World without end. Amen. Let us, Let us adore, adore the, the Lord, for it is he who made, made us. In 387. For all the saints who showed, showed your love in how they lived and where they, they moved, for mindful women, caring men, accept our gratitude, gratitude again. For all the saints who loved your name, and God. Give joy to your servant, Lord, for to you I lift, I lift up my, my soul. In your ear, O Lord, and give answer, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my life, for I am faithful. Save the servant who trusts in you. You are my God, have mercy on me, Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. Give joy to your servant, O Lord, for to you I lift up my soul. O Lord, you are good and forgiven full of love to all who call. Give heed, O Lord, to my prayer, and attend to the sound of my voice. In the day of distress I will call, and surely you will reply. Among the gods there is none like you, O Lord, no way to compare with yours. All the nations have come to adore you and glorify your name, O Lord. O you are great and do marvelous deeds, you who alone are God. Show me, Lord, your way, so that I may walk in your truth. Guide my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, and glorify your name forever. For your love to me has been great. You have saved me from the depths of the grave. The proud have risen against me. The ruthless men seek my life. To you the pain of heat. But you, God of mercy and compassion, Go to anger, O Lord, abounding in love and truth, turn and take a pity on me. Forgive your strength to your servant, and save your handmaid son. Show me a sign of your favor, that my foes may see to their shame, and that you console me and give me your help. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Give joy, joy to your to servant, your servant Lord. Lord, but to you, you I lift, I lift up, my up my soul. Blessed is the man who walks in justice, justice and, and speaks, speaks what, what is, is true. true. Here you are far off what I have done, and you who are near 
acknowledge my might. The sinner in Zion is afraid, trembling as sees the godless. Who among us can dwell with devouring fire? Who among us can dwell with everlasting burnings? He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, who despises the gain of oppression, who shakes his hands lest they hold a bribe, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed, and shuts his eyes from looking upon evil. He will dwell on the heights. His place of defense will be fortress of rocks. His bread will be given him. His water will be sure. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, well without end. Amen. Blessed, Blessed is the man who walks in justice and, and speaks what, what is true. true. Acclaim the King, the, the Lord. Lord. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have brought salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nations. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord all the earth, bring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the harp, with the sound of music, with trumpet and the sound of the horn. Acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy. Rejoice at the presence of the Lord, for he comes to rule the earth. He ruled the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Acclaim the, the Lord, the Lord, the King, the Lord. A reading from the book of Job. Naked I came from my mother's womb, naked I shall return. The Lord gave, the Lord has taken back. Blessed be the name of the Lord. If we take happiness from God's hand, must we not take sorrow too? Bend my heart to your will, O God. Bend my heart to your will, O God. By your word, give me life. Bend my heart to your will, O God. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Bend my heart to your will, O God. Show us your mercy, O Lord. Remember, Remember your, your holy, holy covenant. covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant. As promised by the lips of holy men, those who were his prophets from of old. A Savior would free us from our foes, from the hands of all who hate us, who his love for our fathers is fulfilled and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us a free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, who might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. We shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him. To make known to his people their salvation, true forgiveness of all their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Show, Show us your, your mercy, mercy, O Lord. Lord. Remember, Remember your, holy your holy covenant. God is love. He who dwells in love dwells in God, and God in him. In Jesus Christ we see how God loves us. Let us renew our faith in his love. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. You have given us life and light this morning. Let us give thanks for such great gifts. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. You are sole master of the future. Keep us from despair and the fear of what is to come. 
Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. Love has no ambition to seek anything for itself. Friends in our will to give up selfishness today. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. May your love in us overcome all things. Let there be no limit to our faith, our hope, and our endurance. Lord Jesus, you loved us and gave yourself for us. Our Father, who art in heaven, in heaven hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. I will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us, us this day our daily, our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as we forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And lead us, and lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Lord God, in your wisdom you created us. By your providence you rule us. Penetrate our innermost being with your holy light, so that our way of life may always be one of faithful service to you. We make our prayer to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. On God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And may the Lord bless us and keep us safely today and all the days of our lives. Amen. Amen. Let us say the prayer for priests. Eternal, Eternal Father, Father, we thank, we thank you, you for every priest who has faithfully given his life for the salvation, salvation of his brothers, brothers and sisters. sisters. We, we give thanks to those priests who have brought, brought us your word, word of truth, truth, the grace, grace of the sacraments, sacrament, and above, and above all, all the supreme gift, gift of the Holy, Holy Eucharist. Eucharist. Father, Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who called the apostles to follow him, him. we ask, ask you to raise up new and generous vocations in the priesthood in our time. In our time. Send forth the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit to open the hearts of a new generation to your call, and enable them not to be afraid, to be afraid but to recognize, recognize the joy given their whole lives in love, love to Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, your Son, our Lord, Lord who lives and, and reigns forever and ever. And ever. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray, O God who bestowed on the priest, blessed John Henry Newman, the grace to follow your kindly light and find peace in your church, graciously grant that through his intercession and example, we may be led out of shadows and images into the fullness of your truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.
a reading from the first letter to the Corinthians. The spirit reaches the depths of everything, even the depths of God. After all, the depths of a man can only be known by his own spirit, not by any other man. And in the same way, the depths of God can only be known by the spirit of God. Now in spirit of the spirit of the world, we have received the spirit that comes from God to teach, teach us to understand the gifts that he has given us. Therefore we teach not in the way in which philosophy is taught, but in a way that the spirit teaches us. We teach spiritual things spiritually. An unspiritual person is one who does not accept anything of the spirit of God. He sees it all as nonsense. It is beyond his understanding because he can only be understood by means of the spirit. A spiritual man, on the other hand, is able to judge the value of everything and his own value is not to be judged by other men. As scripture says, who can know the mind of the Lord to who can teach him? but we are those who have the mind of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is just in all of his ways. The Lord, the Lord is, is just, just, in just in all his ways. ways. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures, the Lord, the Lord is just in, in all of his ways. ways. All you creatures shall thank you, O Lord, and your friends shall repeat their blessing. They shall speak of the glory of your reign and declare your might, O God, to make known to men your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your reign. The, the Lord, Lord, Lord is just in all of his ways. ways. Yours is an everlasting kingdom. Your rule lasts from age to age. The Lord is faithful in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The Lord is just in all his ways. Let us stand for the gospel. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is alive and active. It can judge secret emotions and thoughts. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, The kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast into the sea that brings in a hall of all kinds. When it is full, the fishermen haul it ashore. Then sitting down, they collect the good ones in a basket and throw away those that are no use. This is how it will be at the end of time. The angels will appear and separate the wicked from the just to throw them into the blazing furnace where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. Have you understood all this? They said, yes. And he said to them, well then, every scribe who becomes a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out from his storeroom things both new and old. The Gospel of the Lord. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. John Henry Newman began his career as an Anglican churchman and scholar and ended it as a Roman Catholic cardinal. He was born in London on February 21st, 1801, and at the age of 15, he enrolled in the Trinity College, beginning an association with Oxford University that would last for nearly 30 years. The high point of Newman's Anglican career was his influential role in the Oxford movement, a high church effort to return to the foundations of the faith. 
the sacraments, Episcopal governance, and apostolic succession, and to affirm the church's status as the via media, the middle ground between Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholics, uh, unfounded claims to authority and infallibility, and the dissenters is equally unfounded emphasis upon spiritual liberty and private judgment. The movement began in July 14, 1833, when John Cable delivered a sermon entitled National Apostasy from the Pulpit of St. Mary's. Newman became involved a few months later and was the movement's primary spokesman, promoting its doctrinal and moral concerns through his editorship of the British Critic, his contributions to Tracts for the Times, and his weekly sermons at St. Mary's. In 1839, Newman began to lose confidence in the course. The study of the monophysites, which he undertook that summer, raised doubts about the validity of the Via Media. And he soon became convinced that Rome, not Canterbury, was the home of the true church. Two years after leaving St. Mary's, Newman began a new life as a Roman Catholic. He was officially received into the church on October 9, 1845, and was ordained to the priesthood the next year. His work with the church included establishing the oratory of St. Philip Neri near Birmingham in 1848, and helping to create the Catholic University of Ireland, which he served as rector from 1854 to 1858. The 1870s, brought Newman special recognition for his work as both an Anglican and a Catholic, a Roman Catholic. In 1877, he became the first person elected to an oratory, to an honorary fellowship of Trinity College. Two years later, Pope Leo XIII awarded him a place in the College of Cardinals. He died in August 11, on August 11, 1890, and was buried in Warwickshire. His epitaph uh, reads, Ex umbris et imaginibus, imaginibus in veritatem, out of shadows and phantoms into the truth. In 1991, Newman was proclaimed venerable after a thorough examination of his life and work by the Sacred Congregation for the Causes of Saints. One miracle was investigated and confirmed by the Vatican. So it was a, a second the canonization was made possible by a second miracle attributed to Blessed Newman, consisting in the medically inexplicable healing of a pregnant woman with life threatening complications due to her pregnancy. The cure took place in Chicago, USA in May 2013. After an initial investigation carried out by the local archdiocese, it was submitted to the Holy See in 2018 and approved by Pope Francis on 13th of February 2019. Pope Benedict, um, Newman was proclaimed venerable after a thorough examination of his life and work by the Sacred Congregation of the Cause of the Saints. Um, so he was beatified on September 19, 2010 by Pope Benedict the Sixteenth. We pray that we may be a church without discrimination where everyone is welcome. And that with God, who lets the sun shine on all, we may learn to see the good there is in people and refuse to condemn them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask our lady to intercede for us as we say, Hail Mary, Mary full, full of, of grace, grace, the Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women. 
and bless us the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now, and the hour of our death. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, the praise and glory of his name, our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O oh Lord, we pray the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Henry Newman, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in crowning their merits, you crown your own gifts. By their way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, show support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, who may run as victors in the race before us, and win with them the imperishable crown of glory to Christ our Lord. And so the angels and archangels, and with a great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending thy spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim, we proclaim our death, Lord, O Lord, and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, 
We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Mark, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, whom we merit to be called to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, thy will, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us, give us this day our daily, daily bread, bread and, and forgive, forgive us our trespasses, our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against, against us. And lead us not, us not into temptation, temptation but deliver, deliver us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as you await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not Lord, worthy, I'm not worthy that, that you should enter under my, my roof. But only say, say the, the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of Blessed Henry Newman, that we may persevere in integrity, we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace. The Mass is ended.